Hi everyone, Max again. We're getting to our manual razor portion of our shaving and hygiene video. I actually use a badger hair brush and some glycerin soap. And what I do is I get it all mixed up in this bowl for my shaving cream. Some of you may use um, the foamy kind that comes in a can. That's fine too. I just like this. It allows the badger hair brush to kind of soften up my hair follicles and it allows for a smoother shave. So the choice is yours. But if you are using a badger hair brush or you want to go that route, it's a great way to go. The only thing that we have to follow is this badger hair brush needs to soak in hot water for at least 10 minutes. So before I shower, I always just get this badger hair brush soaking in water beforehand. All right, so I've got my badger hair brush soaking. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a shower. Um, so some tips for when you shower, nice warm water. Um, make sure that when you shampoo your hair, you're rubbing it in all the way through, run your fingers through. Uh, make sure that that shampoo is coating all your hair. You can see that I need a shower. I mean, shoot, this stuff's so greasy. Um, and then always make sure with your body wash that you're using a rag. Scrub the dead skin off of yourself. Rub it into yourself. You know, use some vigorous pressure. You don't want to rub so hard that you're actually, you know, chafing your skin and taking layers off of your skin. But just to get that dead skin layer off. <laughs> Make sure that you're really kind of taking care of yourself. I mean, your personal hygiene is very important. That's an outward projection of yourself as a person typically is what people perceive it as. So um, the better you smell, the nicer you look, the more people are going to think of you. So just keep that in mind. It's very vain and vapid, but that's just the way, you know, our society works. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to take a quick shower while this badger hair brush goes, and then I'm going to um, show you how to shave and properly brush your teeth as well. All right, everyone, I'm out of the shower. So typically when I'm going to do a smooth shave, what I do is really try to soften these hair follicles up um, to decrease as much irritation as I can. Um, so I'll take my shampoo and I'll really kind of grind it into my face when I wash my face with it and uh, make sure that I'm really kind of activating those hair follicles, getting them nice and loose and absorbing some water, really trying to get them soft. And I'm just gonna run my comb through my hair quick. Always good practice. And if you are deciding to grow your beard out, a lot of people do experience, you know, dandruff in their beard, dead skin in their beard. It's just really, you know, a dry environment uh, once your beard coats your, or covers your face. So what I do is I use my shampoo and conditioner and just really kind of coat that beard, you know, wash it every day with your shampoo, of course, and then um, use your conditioner and that will resolve a lot of that dead skin issue. So after we shower, we're gonna moisturize. Uh, I've already applied moisture, moisturizer to my body, that's just lotion. Uh, I have some specialty face moisturizer here because I am getting old and I don't want wrinkles quite yet. I mean, I'm, I'm getting to that age. So a healthy little dab there goes a long way, about a pea size amount, and I'm going to just kind of coat my face with the moisturizer. Any problem areas. A lot of guys get worried about crow's feet and just kind of saggy skin around their temples, forehead, that kind of thing. So very important to moisturize. Uh, your skin will get dry and uh, the sun does a number on your skin as well. Now that I'm getting ready to shave, I'm after the shower, my hair is nice and soft on my face, ready for shave. We are wet shaving. So my brush has been soaking in the water. Oh, I'm spilling. Um, I'm gonna dump that out and show you how to lather up a badger hair brush. As you can see, I'm wearing a slop shirt. It's kind of just one of my spare undershirts. It's not a good shirt. I'm wearing it specifically to shave with. Normally what I do is shave shirtless because if you get some stuff on your good shirt, you know, you're gonna have to change and rewash the shirt. It's kind of a waste. So I've got my glycerin soap here. As you can see, it's dry. 
It's just got some film on it from the last time I shaved. I'm gonna take my badger hair brush. It's still really wet. See how it's dripping like that? That's too much water to shave with. So I'm just gonna shake it out into the sink like that, kind of like that. It's still gonna have a little bit of water in it, just enough to shave with. I'm going to take my brush and my soap here and just work it up into a lather and get as much of it into that brush as I can. So I've got a fair amount in there. I'm going to scrape it off into the cup and as you can see it's really thick right now. I shook my brush out a little bit too much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run my water, dip my brush just barely in that water. As you can see it's not quite dripping yet. A little bit more and then I'm going to whisk it around in here. So you can see there's just not very much soap in there, but it goes a long way. A little bit more water on that brush, lather up my soap in my container here. The point of this is to get a nice thick lather going. And this comes with practice too, you know, nobody's perfect their first try. So I've had my hair soaking with the water on it. I'm going to just reapply some water to make sure it's nice and wet. There we go. And now I'm going to lather up my face with my badger hair brush. So this is gonna go all over your surfaces to be shaved. And I'm really working that lather into the hair with this badger hair brush. It helps loosen it up. I like to try to do my neck first because I get such bad razor burn on my neck that I really need it to kind of soak up all that water and moisturize. Otherwise, if your hair isn't quite soaked enough, you will get really bad razor burn. So I'm all coated. I look ridiculous, but that's the realities of shaving, right? All right, so now I've got my single blade razor, or in your case, maybe a multi-blade razor, whatever you're gonna use. Wet shave, so wet razor, right? I'm gonna get that nice and wet. And I'm gonna go with the grain of my hair. If you go against, it provides a smoother shave, but you're gonna get more skin irritation. If you have really resilient skin, you can go against and not worry about a razor burn. I have very soft skin, so it gets really irritated really fast. So I'm gonna take my razor, start up here at my sideburn, and to prevent irritation, I'm just passing each area over once. Nice and smooth, firm pressure, but not pushing down necessarily. Um, Got to build up, so you're gonna rinse it off. Then you're gonna keep going. Be really careful around your nose. That's really sensitive skin. Easy to nick. A lot of curves. I've been doing this for a long time and it comes with practice, right? You learn as you go. You learn how to hold the razor in a proper way. I mean, I have it firmly grasped, much like a knife, um, but you learn how to apply the right amount of pressure for your skin to get all that hair knocked off or shaved off. Be safe, it's a razor blade after all. Um, so, I just felt myself nick myself right there. As you can see, got a little nick right there. I'll show you how to take care of these in a little bit. It's really cheap to get something that just clogs up those nicks and you don't have to walk around with toilet paper on your face and look like a crazy person. So again, as you can see, I was just really, I'm really bleeding from my nose. It's got a lot of veins and stuff uh, close to the surface. So if you do nick your nose, holy cow, you bleed a lot. So I'm gonna just use some toilet paper to put a stop to that real quick. So I'm not bleeding like a madman during the rest of this video. A little bit of toilet paper, stick it onto the bleeding surface. It acts as a, ba a band-aid. Just gonna soak that up and then get my final little daub here. So I've got my toilet paper just to stop the bleeding until I can use my styptic pencil. Um, we'll finish shaving and then I'll show you guys what to apply. That's really gonna help stop that bleeding really quickly. We've got our face done. Now for the delicate part, the neck. This is really easy to get irritated. So we're gonna go one single pass over. And remember, follow the grain of your skin. Go with the way that your skin is pointing. Um, and then as you'll see, I'm gonna go down, 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 down until I get to about to my Adam's apple. And then for some reason my hair shifts to going sideways. So you'll see me kind of go like this. 
along my throat. Again, if you're using a single blade razor here, be very careful. Um, it's very delicate skin, very easy to cut yourself. Alright, so I have my shaving done as you can see, some nicks, it's been a long time since I've shaved myself smooth so uh, my skin was really sensitive and got a couple nicks on it, um, but that's easy to fix. What we're going to do is we're going to take some cold water, I'm just going to take that little piece of toilet paper off so I can show you guys what to do. We're going to take some cold water, very cold water, rinse our face, we're not going to scrub it, that's just going to increase irritation. So rinse our face, dab at our neck, get all that soap off. That'll help close our pores and close these cuts, these little nicks and irritations. And then I'll show you guys how to use a stipic pencil and what to look for in deodorant. So I'm gonna take some cold water now, rinse my face. And then what I do is I use some witch hazel. I got this bottle at Target for like a dollar and I filled it up with witch hazel, which is like $1.70 for a giant bottle of it. And it's a spray bottle. So it's gonna irritate my skin less when I spray it on than wiping it on. And this witch hazel really helps with irritation. It's good for your skin to kind of soothe any kind of um, irritations that are on it. So we're gonna apply that after I rinse my face with cold water. So again, dabbing, not wiping. If you were to wipe, you're increasing irritation. So I've got this thing called a styptic pencil. Basically, it looks like a piece of chalk. Um, but what it does is it stops you from bleeding really well. It acts as a clot for any cuts that you may get shaving. So as you can see, I got a couple right here on my neck that I'm going to go through, and then this one right here, and the one on my nose. Um, so get it wet with some water first. It stings when you apply it, but it does just stop up anything really, really well. And that's how you take care of them. Costs about $4 for this pencil on Amazon. And I've had this thing since I was like 17. I mean, and I'm 29 now, so 12 years, and I've barely gone through it. It broke actually before I went through anything of it. So it lasts a really long time. It's a great investment. So witch hazel next, just to kind of decrease the irritation along my neck and the skin on my face. Close your eyes. You don't want to get the stuff in your eyes, um, but that helps a lot. It really soothes your skin and prevents razor burn. Okay, now that we're all shaved up, we've brushed our hair, we're going to, last but not least, use some deodorant. Uh, again, your hygiene is an outward projection to people of yourself as a person. That's what a lot of people view it as, whether you like it or not. So some things to keep in mind with deodorant, I use this cool stain defense Dove for Men. I don't know what it does. I mean, I, it's supposed to stop um, stains coming through your white shirts and if you're wearing a black shirt, it's not supposed to leave a white mark on it. I, I really haven't found that to be the case. I just try to believe that it works. If you're having problems with yellow armpit sweat coming through and staining your shirt, um, look for a deodorant that does not include aluminum in the ingredients list. You can always just read the back here and see what it all has on it. So when you're applying deodorant, you're going to apply it to your underarms, uh, rub it around four or five times, get the whole surface. Um, you don't want to over apply, otherwise it's just going to make a glob. Uh, if you're under applying, it's going to come through and you're going to stink. So keep that in mind when you do it. That's it for our hygiene. Make sure that you like and subscribe our page. Keep in mind too that we're going to have more videos rolling out. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. Mm -hmm.